Hi, this is Francesca, Bobby Pin Beauty. Today we have Christy with us. We're going to be doing a really cute look on Christy, which is a clean, pretty, um, kind of bubblegum pinup look with um, really nice peachy blush, a neutral eye. The main focus is going to be the cat eyeliner and lashes and a red lip. So we're going to speed it up because we're doing a full face of makeup, but we're going to accentuate the parts um, like the, the cat eyeliner so you guys can see how we're doing it. All right, thank you. So on Christy, we've done a full face of foundation. The foundation I chose was Cinema Secrets Ultimate Foundation. It's a cream to matte, really great for camera. Um, looks very natural, but it's not too heavy. So we've gone ahead and applied that in concealer as well. Um, now we're gonna set it with, I have MAC Prep and Prime uh, Translucent Powder. It's white, but it goes on clear. And we're just gonna press this on, to, on top of the foundation to set it. So now we've set the foundation with the powder. So the next step will be to put a light primer on the eye just to cancel out any color. But basically with this look, we're gonna keep it very neutral. So I'm not gonna do a definite crease or a contour. I'm just gonna do a nice light kind of shimmery color on the whole lid and then we're gonna focus on the eyeliner next. So I'm gonna do the eyeshadow. So here's the eyeliner I'm going to use. It's a Fluid Line Gel Black Liner by MAC. Um, what I love about this is, if you're, especially if you're starting out and you want to achieve this look, it's very easy to use. Um, all you need is an angle brush or you can use um, just a straight eyeliner brush and just dip it in your product and then you can, we can work on getting that perfect cat eye. So that's what I'm going to show you to do next. So with the ink brush, we're starting on the outside edge, and again, like I've said before, in doing the eyeliner, if you can't make a perfectly straight line, if you make little dashes and go across, it will connect. So just kind of follow along like this. Go very close to the lash line first. Don't worry about a wing right now. If, if we are going to do a wing in this application, don't worry about that. Just stay very, very close to the lash line. I'm grab a little more product. Hey Chrissy, can you look down at your knees and look this way? And you can see when she looks down, if you're doing this at home, you look down in the mirror, it opens up the inside of your eye. So it makes it a lot easier to get eyeliner all the way in there. Okay, and then look down and look that way. Okay, so we have just a simple, really fine line. Now I'm going to go to the outside edge and start making it thicker. And you can see with the angle brush, why I love it is because you can angle it up, so your point is right there. We're starting to get a small point. And then we're going to make the outside edge a little bit thick, so it's going to go thick to thin. And basically when you're doing the thickness, you want to have it stop right about in the middle, like right about there where the iris is, that's where it's going to be the thinnest point to go to reach the inside and then it's going to go from the middle point to the outside edge. Okay, so when you're doing the outside edge little flings I call them, it's very important to get them straight but if they're not perfectly even, um, the best way to do it is to just look down and that's why the angle brush is great because you can kind of, it gives you like a little lead to follow so you're going to bring it straight out this way. So. Take a look at this side, see how far the fling comes out, and then we're going to repeat the same thing on that eye. So look down. If you're doing it at home, but you're looking down in the mirror. And you can pull up a little bit on the outside edge just to make the skin taut. And as you're going up to, you're actually applying less pressure because you want it to be a thinner line. So instead of the same intensity, you're just going to take the brush and lift it a little bit and just drag it upwards. Look about even. So the cat eyeliner is completed. The next step I'm gonna do for this look is a soft brown, it's actually called soft brown from MAC, 
um, really lightly underneath the lash line just to work it into the lash line to make it look thicker but by no means is it an eyeliner so with this look it's very important some people do it I just don't I think it looks better kind of clean so we're gonna take a little bit of this just kind of gives eye a little more shape okay, go ahead and look up and just again start from the outside edge very very soft and you can leave it bare if you want but I think it looks nice because with a pinup, you're not really doing mascara on the bottom, so to do a little bit of eyeliner is okay. So, same thing on this side. Can you see the difference, too? Just a really soft liner underneath, how it looks, just kind of brightens the eye up. So, same thing. If you get too much, don't worry. You can just uh, wipe it off the excess with a Q-tip. We're just pushing that up into the lash line. And you don't need to go all the way on the inside, just right about to the center, a little bit more than halfway. Just like that. So the next step I like to do is um, putting a peach tone, or you can use white, but I prefer peach tone eyeliner inside of the rim of the eye. This brightens up the eye, um, just helps the eyes look more awake and bigger too. So we're going to do that. And then the next step after that will be a really nice brow. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to speed this up while I apply the eyeliner. Okay, so the next step is brows. Brows are very important with this look. Um, a lot of times they're more squared off towards the front, they're more dramatic, the arch is more pronounced, and they extend out longer. So Christy has really great brows. Um, what we're gonna be using is an Anastasia Brow Duo. Um, it's in medium ash. So it's you have two colors here, you have a light and a dark. Really great if you're in question. It's kind of foolproof in that you can use the light all over, the dark to accentuate, it's really easy. Um, I'm using an angle brush. This one's by Paula Dorf. It's kind of a stiffer brush I love. And then to go on top, um, because Christy has nice hair, if you don't have very full hair, you can skip it. But if you do, Anastasia Brow Gel to set it. So it's kind of like hairspray for your brows. It's great. So we're going to go ahead and do the brows. So we're starting from the inside. What's great about an angle brush, too, is you can basically, you just have a line. Like, it gives you a guide to the brows. So you can start right, right in the inside corner. And as I say, brow should start right where your eye starts. The art should go diagonal to your nose, kind of like that, which Chrissy's brows are perfect. And then the edge should go right about the outside of the eye. But again, with this, we might extend a little bit, but she has like perfectly, very nicely shaped brows, so this will be easy. The darkness is up to you. I'm using just a medium tone, but again, if you have like a blacker hair, you can do a darker brow. I don't ever like black on the brows, so dark brown will be fine or medium brown, and then blonde you can do medium tone as well, but more, a little bit lighter. And then if you want, you can bring the arch up a little bit right here on the top section, bring it down. And also with this look, I kind of like when the brow goes out straight rather than more rounded in here. It kind of depends on how your own brow shape is, how your you know your hair grows and your brow bone is, but I think if you can pull it off, it looks good. Okay, so Christy's brows are done. The next step is going to be to, to apply false lashes, and the ones I have here are called Demi Wispies. Um, Ardell makes some, Moda Lashes, a couple other companies, but basically, can you get a close up on that? They are flared out at the outside edge, so they kind of add to that cat eye look, and then the inside, they're kind of like more wispy rather than other lashes that are like one length or something like that. So these are really pretty. So as you can see, we were finished. We've applied the lashes, a little bit of mascara to bind them together with her regular normal lashes, and the eyes are done. So the next step will be to do blush. Now, I love a really bright look um, for blush with pinup. So there's two colors I love. Um, this is Orgasm from NARS, and this is Pinch of Peach by MAC. So you can see this is more pinky, whereas this is more of a peach. 
Um, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna be using both today, but you can use one or the other will work. Just either a pinch or a peak. So first I'm going to apply the peachy tone. And this one has a slight shimmer, not too much, but just enough. You want the cheeks to look fresh and youthful and pretty. So stay away from browns, anything muddy, anything too dark. And because Christy is more olive, we can put the pink on top, but like for myself being so fair, I can use just like the peachy tone, it'll be perfect. But it's nice to have an option. You'll notice too, I'm using a fluffier brush. I tend to go for the more fluffy brushes with blush. It makes it look uh, more natural, more of a flushed kind of like healthy glow rather than streaks. And you can kind of bring it up around the hairline a little bit, just to blend it in. You always want to over blend blush. You can never blend blush too much, I think. So now we're going to go in with the more pink tone and pop this right on the apples. Go ahead and smile with me. And apples of the cheek are when you smile, boom, right there. And with blush, you kind of want to stay like two fingers width away from the nose. It's funny with blush, some people love it and some hate it. I think you have to have the right amount and the right color. It can look gorgeous. If you're doing uh, photography, especially stuff outdoors, you kind of need a little more. So don't be afraid to go a little bit heavier if you are doing your makeup for a shoot or something like that. And if you're just wearing this look just out and about, you can do a little bit less. Or if you're like me and you love it, you can just go for the more bold. Oh, lastly, I take a little bit of the same color and just dust it down the bridge in the nose, just to finish it off. Um, with this look, I'm definitely going to skip bronzer. So that's why you can kind of put that, blend the blush in here to finish off the look. Like that. So now we're on to lips. For this look, you can do a couple different options. You can do a bright coral, you can do a really pretty uh, candy apple red, actually any color red, dark red, bright red, um, you could do a pink, but the color we have today is Revolution, and I just got this from Urban Decay. Love the packaging, the color is really pretty nice, like true, true red, not blood red, but right in between candy apple red. Um, what I normally do with red, I don't like to apply red lip liner because I feel like it looks too harsh, so I'll go use a nude first, go over the whole lip, then paint on the red, and then put a little bit of red gloss on top. And this is, uh, what color is this? This is a color from Paula Dorf, so you can see it's red. So we've done Christy's lips, her look is gorgeous, it's all pulled together. The last finishing touch, this is optional, something I like to do is I'm going to use, it's a Stila palette right here, this is Kitten All Over Shimmer. So you can put this anywhere on your face, your body, um, really nice right on the cheekbone, right around the ocular bone, the eye, and then also on the collarbone. So I'm going to add a little bit of this on and you're going to be able to see she will shine, it'll look gorgeous. So I'm using a fan brush and just kind of going lightly through here just to add a little bit of light highlighter is great for drawing attention to areas so you want to add that add highlighter where you want to draw attention so kind of a little soft glow you can also add this up on the brow bone a little bit right in through there and then blend upwards like that and then the inside corner as well so we're adding sugar again on this side not too much. Now, Christy has a really cute tattoo, which I decided that we didn't want to cover up, so I'm going to kind of go, kind of work around it a little bit. And blend the streamer upwards, a little bit on the brow bone, inside corner. You can also do a sweep down the bridge of the nose, just a little bit, and then a little bit on the cupid's bow, a little bit. Okay, so you can see we've completed our pinup look on Christy. It looks gorgeous. She's ready to go. Um, we're also going to use her for a look following this one, which is a tattoo cover-up. Um, but for right now, this is the pinup look. I think she looks amazing, and you guys definitely don't be afraid to try this at home. It's really simple and really pretty.